Hello everyone, we are Team Dynamic representing Singapore from the Greenery Code. I am Jared and these are my teammates Yet Clock and Yi Han. Join us on our journey in preparation for Robocop 2021. We aim to overcome all the challenges on the field. Even if we don't win, we won't get disappointed, as winning is just a bonus. The real prize is the training experience we get in the competition. In the first two lessons, we built and improved the robot's design. The next two lessons, we did the programming of the robot. In the fifth and sixth lessons, we wrote the scripts for the video. And for the last two lessons, we did the video recording. We used Lego Mindstorm parts to build the robot. We also used Lego Mindstorm software to program the robot. Our robot is on track so it can go over the speed bumps. The ultrasonic sensor is better than the infrared sensor as the infrared sensor uses light reflection and the object might be transparent and cannot be properly sensed. The ultrasonic sensor uses ultrasonic waves so the object will be detected. The cage light attachment allows the balls to go in and get locked inside the cage light attachment. There is also a mechanical attachment that flips up and then release the rescue kit when the cage light attachment goes down. We use double color line tracing to line trace. When the ultrasonic sensor detects the object, we program it to interrupt the color sensor problem. We use normal move time and large motor to let the robot switch drop the rescue kit, place the ball in the evacuation zone and exit the evacuation zone. Our robot uses tracks, so it can go over the speed bumps easily. We use array sensors to double check if it detects another color. The array sensors are capable of doing sharp turns detecting. The array sensors also give the robot more options to go to which direction. If it detects a green checkpoint in the left side, it will turn to the left side. If we detect a green checkpoint in the right side, it will turn to the right side. If we, uh, if we detect double green checkpoints, it will make a 180 degree U turn and continue the line trace. If we detect no green checkpoint, it will move back a bit and try to detect if there's any green checkpoint. If it do not detect any if it did not detect any green checkpoints, it will move in front a bit and continue to line trace. The ultrasonic sensor will sense the object in front of the robot and it will stop. The robot will turn and maneuver around the object slowly. The robot will continue line tracing on the other side of the object. The robot will enter the evacuation zone. 
The robot will swim and collect the balls into the cage. The cage is a one-way entrance, so there is no escape for the balls. At the same time, when the cage comes down, the sea kid will be slide down by an attachment entrance. Once it has pushed the ball into the evacuation point, it will exit the evacuation zone. One of our troubles we face is that when the robot turns 90 degrees but it is not sharp enough, the way we solve the problem is we increase the speed of the robot and add more time to the robot. Another problem we face is that we have difficulties going over the speed bump. The way we solve the problem is that we change the wheels in the tracks for our, the robot. The last problem we have, the color sensor sometimes doesn't sense green properly. So we calibrated the color sensor to check green properly. We learned a lot of skills during this competition with some guidance from our teachers. We learned how to troubleshoot and make peace with each other after we have disagreements because each of us have different opinions. Especially since it is COVID period now, everything is virtual and we are not used to it. We had to write our own scripts, record our videos, do slides on PowerPoint and submit everything on time with some help from our teachers. Even though there were lots of challenges, we still enjoyed this exciting competition experience.